Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Hey, how about you bringing me shopping instead of bringing your food addict? Leave your food addict in the back seat with the windows cranked or maybe, maybe go to the expense of hiring a caregiver. Hire that caregiver to keep that addict at home. Bring me with you. We'll spend an hour just in that healthy section reading labels with our list, our list from the alwayshungrybook.com to make sure that you have the things in your pantry that you have, that you need, the new you. It'll be so much fun because we want to make our lives, I was going to say bulletproof, but Maybe that's a cliche, but maybe we want to have our pantries and our fridges and our freezers filled with what it is that we need to eat that's going to make us healthy and give us the lifestyle and the way of eating that we want to have. Sometimes people do a pantry intervention, and that is, <laughs> I don't know. That is where you go in and you literally take everything off your shelves and the only things that go back are things that support your way of eating. And I know that, that Greg eats so many different things from me, so, you know, if you saw my pantry, you'd think either she's lying about what she eats or um, she hasn't done a pantry intervention. But we kind of, you know... I don't get into his food, he doesn't get into mine, I cook, he eats, it works. And so um, that is how it would go if we went shopping together. We would, we would talk about the healthier things, we'd look at the meat and talk about the healthier parts. If you said you can't afford grass-fed, we'd get you the highest grade that we could without that amount of money being spent. It's the same way that I shop. If something grass-fed is on sale, um, for a long, long time, they had the one-pound pack of grass-fed burger on sale, buy one, get one. And so I probably have a lot in my freezer, a lot more than I imagine. So I don't need to be buying that any, you know, for a good long time. Sometimes I buy their steak. They say that lamb is pretty much grass-fed. Um, I'm not quite sure of that. I have bought organic, um, open nature from Shaw's lamb at times. And with pork, um, you know, we do have an orga organic farm here with heritage pork. Um, I do have some of their things in the freezer, but I haven't been this year. So, granted, and I know Dina says that, you know, I shouldn't, but I do buy... Um, the pork that has no steroids, no hormones, no, I don't know, just raised as humanely as possible. Um, but, you know, I have so many dollars for shopping as well. So I have to make my food, my food budget go as far as it can. But getting staples in, like recently I've been having the Chili Rock latte or the rock chili latte anyway it is not for <laughs> it is not for those that don't like spices it has turmeric which is a great inflammation fighter it has cinnamon same same great for your blood sugar it has maca and i don't know what maca does although i have a website pulled up so when i have time i'll read what it does um and it has my almond coconut milk and cocoa, cacao butter, organic, um, one tablespoon of that, and I bought chunks of it, so I have to weigh it out, and whatever one tablespoon is, I do that with the grams, I think it's 15 grams, it is, and um, I know that because of all my sugar groups at work, and so um, that is, oh, and chili powder, Wee! that is a mid-afternoon treat for sure, and so, but I'm introducing spices that, um, you know, have longevity to them, longevity for your life when you have them. 
Did anybody watch Dr. Oz yesterday? There is this non-invasive FDA approved um, thing. They did a lady's belly and um, I think I've heard ads on um, my radio station here, my local station, talking about um, this laser um, non-invasive thing and this man that owns two restaurants has lost 30 pounds from doing it and Dr. Oz and his collective, you know, his collab said that um, the two or three of them that were on the stage that it will take a few months to show up. Um, the results aren't immediate. So it was interesting and I was just wondering, I'm curious as to the cost, but um, just as a jelly belly inquiry. Um, so anyway, then um, if we were shopping together, so we would fill, we'd make sure you have those good healthy spices at hand to cook with although I don't use a lot of spices when I cook. It's funny that this um, spicy latte um, is something that I'm enjoying. It's not for every day of the week. I have it. Oh, and then I put the collagen, the marine collagen, one scoop of that. So it's an interesting assemblage of uh, ingredients and it works for fun. So if we were shopping together, we would spend a lot of times in the whole food section <clears throat> And I love when um, when the produce, the organic produce, just expands a little bit more, a little bit more. And um, with the real estate of produce being such a a um, high high volume, high high um, profit place, I'm sure. So um, you know, and you do want to get organic. You do want to study that dirty dozen and not buy those. Um, I know that um, strawberries are one of them and potatoes and I look forward to my Michelle de Burge um, book. I did order it from Amazon after listening to her on a podcast and um, she eats the same way that I do and she's a chef. She's got many books out and she went from over 500 pounds. She's lost um, quite a bit and she does all kinds of things. She's got the energy of um, a young woman that is just making her way. You know, she just does so many things with so many different areas of food. How to cook, how to shop. Um, she does interventions. She does groups, um, plus her book, plus her podcasts. And so she doesn't do podcasts. She's just guests on shows. And so um, armed with what I know, armed with what you want for yourself, we would go shopping. We would get your pasture-raised eggs, which are usually in the stores. They're they're Pete and Jerry's. I know that I buy Nellie's at times when I'm making things like um, creme brulee that takes like six egg yolks and things like that. But um, we would have fun. And um, we would buy some Kerrygold butter. Um, I know that this um, Amish rolled butter that I've been having is delish, that too. And um, we would get you coconut milk or almond milk, one of those milks, cashew milk. Um, I usually buy what's on sale, so the flavor sometimes changes, and um, some heavy cream for cooking, or maybe for your coffee, if you're, if you're not into the latte one like I am, and we would have a grand old time, and then we would come back and we'd replenish your fridge and your pantry with the good stuff, and coming up with a menu, it's it's been relatively easy, just like the shopping, once the once the supplies are in the house, it becomes relatively easy. Now, when I made this rocket latte, um, began to make that a couple of weeks ago, I did have to get some supplies, the maca, the um, collagen, and um, I had the cacao butter, but, you know, just some things. Um, I do have small spices of the turmeric, but I might buy that bag of organic turmeric. It's on sale at Amazon as always. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's just very interesting. So, if I was to go shopping with you, would your choices be different? Would you not be in the middle aisles looking for those things that you love to eat that may not like you now or may be hindering the scale? Just give it a thought. Um, I'm not here to convert you to low carb, high fat. I'm here to tell you that's what I do, so you're going to hear that through anything that I talk about. 
because I know it works for so many um, people that hit plateaus with other weight loss programs like it did for me with Weight Watchers. I hit that plateau and then once the grains were gone and the sugars were gone, oh, yes, the final bit that needed to go. And I've been able to maintain that for, um, it'll be a year in September and it's um, three weeks into July now. So the program works for me. It might not work for you and that's quite okay. I'm just saying that it works for me and others. And um, don't be afraid of change because it could be satiating. Hey, have a wonderful day. I'd love to go shopping with you. What time are you picking me up? Bye-bye for now.